Okay, so uh, Nicole had it mostly right in her uh, video there, but let me just show you something here. We'll take a look at the actual HTML code inside of ClickFunnels, and I'm in the editor here, but the code will look the same either way, but I always warn people don't actually do this inside of the editor. Just do it on a live page, not inside the editor, the inspecting and changing stuff. But um, so, so you see here full width on the yellow, like you were having an issue with. And now, so I have the background yellow um, and, and for our, our element right there. So the problem is right now, look at the HTML code over here. You have the outer wrapper element with the ID on it that we're using right here. Then you have an H2 tag. And then the text is sitting right inside of an H2 tag. Now, if we come in here, and let's say we change this now and make this bold. Then we can go into our CSS and put in that B tag or as Nicole had shown with the I tag for italics. And now it shrunk down the size of the yellow in the background. And the reason why is let's come in here and open this H2 tag back up. What it does is it wraps the text now with the B tag around it. Whereas the first time we did this, there were no B tags around it. There were no I tags around it. There was nothing around this thing. And so it, it didn't know just to do the inner part of it. So that's why I was doing the entire thing because there's no tag around here that we could go after and try to tell it we wanted something. So what we can do in a situation like this is... Well, I'll even show you here in the, in the code. Let me change this to I. And uh, in fact, now we got I and B in here. So let's just see here. Come on. Open up. Everything's running nice and slow today. I need to reboot. And it'll do it eventually. Come on. So now we got a B tag and an I tag. And so we could target it either one on the B or the I, and we can even go so far as to put an, a U in here for the underline. And then what we're going to see is we're going to have a B and I and a U, and you could use any of those to target. But um, what if you're in the situation where you don't have anything set on here? You don't have a B, you don't have an I, you don't have a U. And so we can't come in and target it and tell it to be shorter like that. Well, let me show you what happens here. We'll take out all three of these. And again, we're gonna go back to just plain text right here inside of the H2 tag. And again, we're gonna go full width then on the yellow. If I didn't screw something up here, how come my CSS turned off? Oh, it's because I got that B in there. So let's take that B back out. And now it goes full width again. So if you are if you're using it underlined, if you're using it bold, if you're using italics, this will work just fine. What if you're not? Because some fonts don't have that in their font set even where you can do bold italics and underline. So what you can do in that case is you can use some text decoration, which is the, um, the strike through because these are different than the strike through. Strike through is text decoration. So now what we can do is we can say, we can go into our CSS and we can say, let's put in the word here, strike. And you see it shortened it up behind it there and we got the word strike there. Now you're gonna go, oh, well, it's got a line through it. Well, let's take care of that because like I said, this is a text decoration element and we just turn it off. So you just say text decoration none and then it takes out that that line through and leaves you with the nice background there and then you're good to go